Hi there, welcome back. Everything we do online generates data. And as a marketer, this data is key to understanding where our efforts are working and where they're not. Most people, when they think about analytics, assume it's all about visitor numbers. And today I want to show you, A, it's not, B, how we can take things much further and C, why you should get excited about data. For a lot of people, digital marketing is simply about showing up online, and that's fine. But as smart marketers, we want to see results. And results in digital marketing come back to what I've previously called the stupid, simple rules of digital marketing. And you'll find a link to that video below. But as a quick recap, the stupid, simple rules of digital marketing can be summed up as traffic plus conversion equals money plus retention equals growth. If we're going to take that seriously, then we need to measure and assess our efforts at every stage. Where we see success, we need to replicate it and scale it. Where we see failure, we need to learn from it and avoid making those same mistakes again. There are a lot of things we can measure and depending on your budget, there are some incredibly cool tools. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna to stick to the five free tools every business owner should be using. Google Analytics is the fundamental website performance tracking tool which should be installed on every single website. It provides all the information you could want about how your website's being used. And in basic terms, and it does much more than this, it provides information about the number of visits, the volume of visits, where people come from, how they find your website, what they look at when they're on their web your website, which pages they arrived on your website on, and which page pages they left your website from, the number of websites that just lead to a one-off visit, and the number of repeat visits, how long people spend on your website, how long they spend on individual pages. There really is an awful lot that you can do with Google Analytics. You can also set up conversion goals. So if you want to track specific events on your website, you can set up reports for that. The next tool is Facebook Analytics. Now, Facebook Analytics and Google Analytics track and display much the same data. Google Analytics can go much deeper, but arguably Facebook's version is a bit easier to digest. Both Facebook and Google Analytics work by setting up a tracking code on your website. In Facebook's case, the tracking code is called a pixel. And in Google, it's simply often just referred to as a Google tracking code. Um, my advice is that you set up both because by setting up the tracking codes for both, you're collecting the data that you're going to need later on if you want to use retargeting ads. Both Facebook and Google Analytics have great companion mobile apps, which will make drilling down into the data much easier, and I highly recommend both of them. The next tool I want to talk about is called Hotjar. And Hotjar has several functions, but two standout features. Firstly, it will record every single website visit as a video. You can watch website visitors scroll, click, linger, and then complete actions of all kinds. Even clicking from page to page, you can follow them. And think of it literally as having the opportunity to watch over the shoulder of every single website visitor. You'll very quickly start seeing opportunities and areas where people aren't doing what you expected them to do. And by making some small changes to your website, you can change how they use your website. Hotjar will also aggregate scroll, click, and mouse movement data. And that provides you with a heat map which will let you understand even more about how your website's being used. When I show Hot Jar to clients, they get excited, and I think you will too. The next tool I want to talk about is called Lead Feeder, and Lead Feeder is again doing something different. Without going too deep into how it's doing it, Lead Feeder provides a report on the actual businesses who visited your website. Every day, you can log in and see a report on the businesses who visited your website, which pages they looked at, and if they're a repeat visitor. Lead Feeder is intended to allow those who sell into larger businesses to be more effective in their sales prospecting. And this can work really well when you combine it with social media outreach programs or some social selling strategies rather than just jumping straight in and calling them up. Bitly is traditionally used as a link shortening tool and it's really handy for that. It became popular through Twitter due to the restrictions on the number of characters you could use in a post. If a blog article you wanted to share had a long title, then it might not leave you much space to say anything about it. Bitly solved this problem by converting long titles into short ones, but it has a trick up its sleeve for people who regularly share content on social media. Let's say you share one of your blog posts on several social media platforms. 
you're going to want to know which social media platform achieved the most click-throughs in your content. Bitly provides a report on this for every single link you create. These five tools form the foundation of a solid performance benchmarking suite, which can and probably should be used by every business. They're all very easy to set up and in every case available, albeit in some cases with some limitations, for free. If you want to see success online, then it starts with measurement. If you don't measure, then you don't know what's causing the changes that you do see. That can lead to some very costly assumptions. If you do measure, then you can quickly scale up the small wins into a breakthrough strategy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell next to it. That way I can notify you every time I publish new videos, which is typically every Tuesday. If you have questions, you want to continue the conversation about these or any other tracking tools, then I would love to continue that conversation with you down in the comments. And I'll see you next time.